In fact, the Buddha is a person of great wisdom and compassion. He teaches us too many methods. We must be able to understand the Buddha's mind and his painstaking efforts. Do you think we have to recite every day in the morning and evening classes, the four great vows we read? And the four great vows will teach us how to protect ourselves. How to join the Bodhi way. The first vow is to ask you to arouse the Bodhicitta. Living beings are incalculable. I vow to deliver them all. I live in this world with this body, for whom? I often hear a lot of people say, whose life is suffering, because who is busy? This statement sounds very tragic, who is your whole life for? Life's hardship is finally a piece of nothing, all given to others, who can take it away? Every day, hard work and trade, eventually falling into the hands of others, feeling limitless. It doesn't matter to people who study Buddhism like us, we are for the Buddha Dharma, for sentient beings, so it has a lot of meaning and value. We live in the world for all sentient beings, and live in the world for a long time for the Buddha's Dharma. We do the work of continuing the Buddha's wisdom and life. What if for yourself? For myself, it is better to be reborn soon. If I go to the Western world of ultimate bliss, look at the righteousness and dignity mentioned in the scriptures, why suffer in this world? For myself, I left early. This body can still be used to serve all sentient beings for one more day and help them more. Although it is serving, although it is helping, but doing it without doing it, absolutely no credit, absolutely not saying that I have done a lot of things. All appearances are illusory, the mind is clean, spotless, transparent inside and outside. This is the life of a Buddha and Bodhisattva, we must arouse this mind. After generating the mind, the first virtue is the cessation of afflictions. Afflictions are infinite, I vow to eliminate them all. Most notably, fame and fortune, five desires and six dusts, we have to let go. Wealth, sex, fame, food, and sleep, the Buddha said that there are five roots in hell, and if you have one, you will not be able to leave the three realms. If you have all five, is it still worth it? Even the Buddhas of the Ten Directions cannot drag your things. So you must understand, first cut off afflictions, first get rid of habits. The method taught by the teacher is a skillful method to eliminate afflictions and habits. The teacher teaches us, we must obey, and we must follow suit. Some fellow practitioners may say, you are lucky, you have met some good teachers, but we have not, so who will teach us? The Infinite Life Sutra has taught you enough. It is more thoughtful and complete than the teachings of my three teachers. If you read and recite carefully, ponder carefully, and follow the teachings, you can become a great sage and a great sage. How can it be said that we have not met good teachers? What we meet today is Amitabha Buddha, and the Sutra of Infinite Life is Amitabha Buddha. And the place where Sutra of Infinite Life is located is the place where Amitabha Buddha is. You can read and recite, you can practice according to the teachings, you are the first disciple of Amitabha, and this sutra is very clear. The first disciple of Amitabha, you are amazing. All the Buddhas respect you when they see you. Why? You are a student of Amitabha Buddha, special courtesy. Because every Buddha respects Amitabha Buddha. Respecting Amitabha Buddha also respects Amitabha Buddha's students, this is called true respect. To respect Amitabha and look down on Amitabha's students is to disrespect Amitabha, and that respect is false. When we love a person, we also love what this person likes. This is to respect a person and truly respect him. We need to understand this truth before we know what to do and how to cultivate. 
When afflictions are eliminated, wisdom will grow, and only after wisdom grows can one learn the Dharma. The Dharma doors are innumerable, I vow to master them all. In other words, it is very obvious. We follow this infinite life sutra, and follow infinite life sutra, to cut off our afflictions. If our afflictions are not eliminated, I will abide by this door, and I will follow this sutra. In this sutra, Buddhism tells us that we should do what we should do, and we should do it seriously. We should not do it. And we decide not to do it, so we are obedient, and this is a good student of Amitabha Buddha. When troubles are mild and wisdom grows, then learn more and more.